Night Geometry fans, we are back. Uh, this is video 9.1, and we're going to talk about parallel and skew lines. One of my favorite words. I love the word skew. That's been that cool word. All right, so here we go. Parallel lines. You've seen it. You've done it. You've heard it. I just want to make sure you're going to get the notation right, okay? So parallel lines are two lines in the same plane that don't intersect, okay? Coplanar means they're in the same plane. In other words, they're drawn on the same sheet of paper, okay? They do not intersect. Arrows are used to indicate the lines um, are parallel. Um, oh, okay, got you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So see how you have those little triangles on each line right there? Those little triangles um, colored in like that mean that those lines are parallel. Also, um, it, you can write it like this. Line AB is parallel to line CD, okay? All right, so parallel lines in the same plane, and they do not intersect. Okay, parallel planes, okay? They are two planes that do not intersect, okay? Hence, that's why they're parallel. Uh, remember, you can name a plane by one letter if it's a capital cursive letter, so they're calling this plane J, and this is plane K, and those planes do not intersect, so you can write it like that. Really, the hardest thing is just getting used to all this notation. You know, so make sure you go through this and you write it. Um, if you print this, you can write right on it. If you can't, if you don't have a printer, because printers are a pain, you know, you can just write all this out. Okay, finally, skew lines, all right? They also, like parallel, do not intersect, okay? But they are not in the same plane. So I'm just gonna highlight that very first one because it'll be easy for you to see. See how it se says segment PS right here? Well look, segment PS is this little segment right here. And it's kind of coming out at us, right? And then look, segment BR is in the back, but it's going in a different direction. This one's going like in a north-south direction, and this one's going like an east-west direction, but you see how they're never gonna intersect, okay? Another example, look, TW. TW is coming out towards us right there. Uh, UQ um, is going up and down in the front, okay? So skew lines, they don't intersect because they're in separate planes. And then there's your third example right there. Okay, so add this parallel lines, parallel planes, skew lines. Are you ready to play with some of this and see how well we can handle this? We got this, okay? Trust me when I say we got this. All right, so I wanna look at this beautiful diagram right here, and we're gonna fill in a few answers and see what they're coming up with. Okay, example A says, hey, name all segments parallel to AE. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let me just highlight AE. Okay, there's your segment AE. All right, I want all the segments that are parallel to that. Well, remember they gotta be in the same plane. So look, here's EA and parallel over here, FB. See how they're in that front plane? So you can put FB. Everybody cool with FB? Okay, excellent. Um, you can look at that segment EA again, and look, this one back here, DH, is on that same panel not touching, so then DH is also gonna be parallel. Okay, are we good? Um, anybody have another one? Um, CG, wait, what? Yes, look, um, EA is right here, and CG is right here, yeah, try to imagine if you could, you could put a panel going diagonal, right, through that, and it would hit here and hit here. So CG, whoever said that, very good. Okay, and those are parallel to AE. Um, can you give me two examples of parallel planes? I'm glad that they asked for this, because since they don't have any of those cursive capital letters, when you name a plane, go ahead and write the word plane, and then you need to pick um, three points that are not all collinear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this panel right here. All right, so look, you pick any three. I'm gonna go F, G, C, okay? F, G, C names this plane right here. So plane F, G, C, write the word plane again, and then you wanna grab this one that's parallel over here, so pick any three points or vertices on that one. So I'm just gonna say ADH. Everybody's cool with that? Okay, excellent. 
All right, what was that? Oh, you want to do the bottom one? Okay, so this bottom floor right here, I heard someone say plane ADB. Okay, if we do the bottom panel, then you're gonna grab the top uh, panel. So plane, and it looks like EHG. Okay, you have to name three points though in order to name those planes, nice. All right, name all segments skew to GH. So I'm gonna take a highlighter for this one, all right? Move that baby over. I'm gonna highlight GH right here. All right, so I want skew, so I want it to not touch GH, but I also don't want the line to be in the same plane. So see how GH is going left to right. Look, FB is in the front, it's going north-south, so definitely FB. Everybody's cool with FB? Cool. All right, if you look over here, look, EA is also in the front, and it's going in the same direction as FB. So EA is another example of skew, okay? Any others? Um, someone yelled out AD. Yeah, very good. Look, AD is going um, back to front. This one's going side to side, so you can do AD. And then finally, I think there's one more. Um, how about this one? Look, yeah, BC. Yep, BC, segment BC, okay? So, you know, kind of think of, I don't know how well this will show up on there, but look, um, I've got this pen right here, and I've got another pen, all right? If I make them hit, they're going to intersect, right? But if I elevate the smaller pen, right, from the permanent marker, they're never going to touch, all right? But they're not parallel. See how they're never going to touch? They're going in different directions, and one's above the other, if you will. All right, one last example. All right, let's try this one. Let me kind of supersize this a little bit. I think I can make that a little bigger than that. Yeah, 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 we got this. All right, so 2A, name all segments parallel to JK. So let me take the permanent marker JK, I'll we'll put it right here. All right, I want parallel to JK. Well, definitely OP over here. So let's go ahead and put that one down. And you remember for segment, you do capital O, capital P. You can also change the order of those letters. You can say PO, okay? All right, this is 2A, and I believe that's the only one I see. Yeah, because I see these are crooked over here. All right, uh, part B, name all segments parallel to NS. All right, where are you NS? So NS, I'll use the highlighter. Okay, NS is right here. All right, call one out. Ooh, someone said J-O. J-O is definitely parallel.